Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Distilled, Brewed, and Reviewed. I want to make something simple for you. Can I do that? I want to teach you how to use a French press, and I want to make it real easy. Let me explain what I'm talking about. I have seen, hey, and I'm not making fun of anybody. If you want to get this exact, you go ahead. But I found in life, okay, through my years of experience, that some things are unnecessary, right? And coffee, for example, is meant to have, is to enjoy, have fun. Not to ever stress making it. This is supposed to be easy and fun. You can make this cowboy style. I'll show you how to do that, right? We don't have to get all crazy with this for it to be good. I've got all the tools that everybody has. I've got all the knowledge for wine. Okay, I talk. If I don't think it's necessary, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go into it. All right. My wines are are, you know, they make sense to me. They make sense to you. We don't go crazy here with silly stuff. I could, if I ever get in a conversation with somebody who wants me to do that, I'll do it. You'll see if, you, if I ever have to do it. But why? Let me see what I'm talking about. Now we're gonna make a fresh press. Now do we want to? Use this scale and measure the water and the and the uh, amount of coffee and grams. And no, no, come on. Um, temperature gauge. If we want to make sure that water is perfect, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to show you how to make it just right without having to use this. And I have it, but I've practiced. I've been drinking coffee, believe it or not, for over 15 minutes now. For a long time. And I went through all this stuff, okay? I've been to Europe, all over Europe. I got family in Italy. I, I lived there for a little while. I, I, tie, okay, I know coffee, right? I'm going to show you how to make this easy. Trust me. We don't need the scale. You don't need the temperature gauge. You don't even need these spoons here for exact measurements of tablespoon, teaspoon, all that. All right. We're going to need this. This is a French press. It has some, um, ignore that. That cup there is four ounces. We're not even going to worry about what that's on here. Don't worry about that. You got something to, to put. All right. Now, I have this if I need it. Oh, look at that. Fancy teapot. All right. Look. Let me, let me show you something. And I got a bedroom cup, which you're not going to need. You might need that once. So this is eight ounces. Okay. So if I put eight ounces in here, and we're only going to do this once to get to, and let's say this is the cup you usually drink out of, this metal one. So I pour that in there, and I drink a whole one. And I pour that in there. I know that's two cups. Okay? I know that's two cups. Uh, let's say this is my cup that I drink out of. Once you learn this, you never have to do this again. So I pour this in here, right? To measure it. Lo and behold, it's a cup. Okay. Two cups, one cup. And so on and so forth. Until you know how many ounces your cups are. Alright. Whatever your favorite cup is, right? This one. Because I have it out. Because I drink it out of all three of these. Alright, and everybody has their mugs. Right, there's eight. There's two cups. Look at that. We filled it up. Well, basically, there it is. Right to the brim, we know it's three cups. All right. Now we know. Now, are we, if we're going to do this, let's say we drink two of these. Okay, we drink two of these. So, we drink two of these. We're not going to measure this out. We're not going to fool around with it. We're going to fill up the cup that we usually drink with, and we're going to go like this. There's one, right? We know that's two cups. That's 16 ounces. We just measured. And then we go to the sink, I guess, and we fill it again. Look at that. That's what we're going to drink. Two of these, right? There it is. Not the measure, not the two of these. There it is. The coffee. All right. We're going to do, and you can adjust this, okay? There's going to be people yelling and screaming, okay? If you're using coffee that you, like I like to have, right? We ordered it from 
a local shop. You order it from somewhere online. They got your order. What did they do? They roasted it and sent it right to your house. You never had that. That's not like the store bus foot stuff at all. Now, maybe you ground it yourself. Maybe you can ground whatever, but it's fresh. Then we're going to put two tablespoons. Okay. And we're going to use a sophisticated tablespoon. We don't need a special it's the spoon that everybody in the world. All right. We're going to use two of those for every cup. There's four cups in there. That's eight. Right? That's eight of these. Now, if you drink that and you say, oh, it's too strong, go ahead and put seven. What if you're like, it's not bold enough, and I read something. Then you put it on. Or ten, this is a rocket science. Start with two per cup. If it's some store-bought stuff that might have been sitting there for ten years, whatever, then add a little more. Just add a little more. All right? Instead of putting eight, put ten. I would always start out with eight. All right? You'll get the hang of this. You'll know what type of coffee. And you'll know by the smell. Believe me, this comes to eight. Easy. But right now, we're not going to worry about that. You got coffee. You figure out how much your cup is. You put how much. You know you drink two cups. I put two cups, two cups in there. That's 32 ounces. And I'm going to put two per cup, right? Two of these per cup, which is eight ounces a cup. So that's going to be uh, eight scoops of coffee. All right. Eight scoops. Now, if you grind it yourself, you're going to do a medium course. So you don't want to come on up through the filter here. A medium coarse. All right. So we're going to take, and here's another thing. Okay. You can do. Okay. So that's what I'm going to put in there. Now, if you think that's too weak, you don't even have to increase the thing. Just put, you know, you can go as high as you want, heaping. You'll figure this out. But for now, just put a level thing. One per every eight ounces. Okay. One per every eight ounces. What you're going to do is, Alright. What you're gonna do here? I'm just gonna pour this in here. Alright. You're gonna take your coffee and you're gonna put it in there. Now, why don't we need a temperature gauge? They say if you do boiling water that's a little hot, it's 212 degrees, and it'll scorch you. Got that figured out. Doesn't matter. Um let's say you boiled it in a teapot. Or let's say you boiled it in this, right? You have two cups of water you put in this. And now it just boiled. So I just took it off the stove. 212. It's dropping rapidly. Here's what I want you to do. See how I'm moving that from a distance? That's cooling the hell out of this. Okay? Because 202 degrees is about what you want. That's only 10 degrees. And just that bit of air like that and this being room temperature. I, I measured it a thousand times. This is perfect now. It's the temperature. And so you took her. There it is. I'm going to have to do nothing. There it is. So, once again, we take eight scoops of coffee and we put it in here. Right? Just tablespoons. That's all we're going to do. Should I do it? It's not hot. I hate to waste the eight. Just do I put eight in here. You put eight. Then you take your water. And let me show you what some people do. Well, I'm going to do this. Damn it. I'll do it with two. All right, but we're going to do eight, but I'm going to do it with two because I'm going to show you something. What I've seen people do is take their teapot, and in some methods you do this, but I've seen them do it with this. And then they go all the way around, and they put a little in there, and they stir it, and they get it because they want to get it wet, and they don't want to watch this. Hold on, I want to show you something. Tell me if you think this is going to get wet. Do you really think that there's grinds in there that didn't get wet? Hmm? All right. So you don't have to do the thing and you have to and all that. This is, I'm making this simple. After you do that, because that's the hot water, right? I want you to take a stick, if you have one. I like wooden chopstick because sometimes when something's hot, metal against glass is not the best thing. Uh, this is a special kind of safety glass, probably right. But anyway, you can do this one time. Because when that's hot, that's going to put a nice crema on top, right? A nice coating, a tan coating. And now listen to this. You want to let it sit three to four minutes, all right? Put this 
We'll put this like this, just to keep the heat in a little bit. Three to four minutes. Three to four minutes. I do three and a half. Again, if you do this, you're like, man, it's a little weak for me. Do four. You'll extract more flavor. That, that's a simple thing right there. If it's a little too much, do two and a half. Don't do less than two. And don't do more than four. It'll start getting bitter. Two to four. Take the middle. Three and a half, right? This is easy so far. And then when that's done, just a little tip, because I've done this a thousand times. On this, you just want to make sure that these holes here line up with the poor thing, right? And then what you're going to do after your three and a half minutes is this. All right? We're going to slowly, slowly. Oh, and by the way, we're not going to use any filter. So use a filter and a kit. No, no, no. See? The filter will filter out some of the oil. The whole idea of making this like this is to get all the flavor and all the oils from the plant. Not to use a paper filter to filter all that out. Makes no sense. So now you've done that. All right? Now, just three and a half minutes went by. I plunged it. And what do I do now? Make sure that's lined up. Now, this is improved, all right? Obviously, I just did this. All right. We're done. <laughs> that's it. That's how you use a French press. And that's how you do it. And when I'm not explaining all this, this is about a two-second process. It's about a two-second process. It looks good if I measure it in the grams. I do the tear and I do all. Come on. Why? Just enjoy your coffee. Really, if I had to do all that in the morning, I'd just, I'd, I just... I can't even think of the words, or I, was, I don't want to say anything bad, but I wouldn't do that, right? I love coffee more than, as much as anybody on this, whoever's watching this, but I ain't doing that, and I don't have to. And if you want to do this blonde with me sometime, all right, I'll make it my way, and you make it your way, and we'll mix it up, and we'll have some people there, and we'll see if they can tell what was, they won't, they won't, right? They won't, so there it is. You're welcome. Love you all. Don't forget to sub and subscribe. You know, I need that for the analytics. I taught you something nice today. I'm going to see you on the next one. Bye-bye.